I'm gonna do this video mostly raw, as raw as I can. I've got a 16 gigabyte Extreme Pro card in there. If it doesn't work, which it usually doesn't tend to work with Twerp, I'm gonna use this 32 gig card instead. Uh, you need to download the update.zip file manually. I will have a link in the description. It will download super fast. It'll download as fast as your connection can possibly download. And then you just put it on the root directory of your SD card where it's not in the folder. And then you turn your phone off completely by pulling the battery and putting it back in. And then you're going to need to hold down the volume up and the power button. Just, just those two buttons until you see recovery booting. Keep in mind that you need to be 100% stock. I just flashed the MDL uh, stock tar to the device. So it is 100% stock. No Google account. Absolutely nothing at all custom on it. And we're going to go down here to apply update from external storage. You have to be using a micro SD card. So we're going to go ahead and press the power button. And then it found it. Sweet. So it's reading the SD card thus far. Go ahead and show you that. I don't know if it will focus on it or not. Anyways, so you just press on it. Press the power button. And if your system is 100% stock. It should go through with this update. And I'm doing this 100% raw. Like, I, this is my very first take on this. I'm using my Canon PowerShot. And just to give you an idea of how long this takes, I don't know. My camera only records for up to 10 minutes. So it can't possibly go longer than that. If it does, then I'll have to throw the footage in Adobe Premiere Pro and edit it and yeah but no seriously with twerp I'm having issues where stuff won't flash from the the extreme pro cards like it'll see the file but it won't actually flash so uh, I don't know what's going on I don't know if it's an issue with twerp I don't know I uh, try <laughs> that's why I try clockwork mod recovery on my transform prime and big mistake Unlike Goo Manager, Couch has refused to update his app to say, hey, if you have a Transformer Prime, you cannot install this recovery because it will break your device. But luckily I had NV Flash backups and I was able to use blobs and get my Transformer Prime back. I even downgraded from Jelly Bean to Ice Cream Sandwich Bootloader and then I upgraded to the Jelly Bean Bootloader. So that was fun. You probably saw my post on Twitter if you're following me on Twitter. But uh, to patch in the system files, this shouldn't take too long. This seems to be going good, and I'm using an extremely fast card, so that's pretty exciting. And I'm talking just to kind of fill the gap for those of you that aren't skipping through this and are trying to figure out how long this takes. Because there's no editing um, as of right now. I don't know, it depends on how long this takes really. And yeah. But no, I have this one right here just in case this one fails because, like I said, with Twerp, I have had issues with this card. I guess it's like so fast that it doesn't know what it's doing. I don't know. But it's formatted FAT32. I used SD formatter. My computer sees the thing just fine and the speeds are insanely fast. On my Josh is Nice channel, uh, youtube.com slash Josh is Nice, the, um, I did a speed test showing a 64 gig card, which is in my Note 2. This is my wife's 32 gig card that normally goes in here. But um, I did a speed test between the 64 gig card and the 16 gig Extreme Pro card that's in here right the second. And it was, the speed difference is insane. So, in the description of this video, there'll be a little thing that says click here for all my other channels. I have two other channels besides this channel. And one of them is for like quick uploads for my phone. Um, like right now I use my Note 2. This is my wife's phone. and the, Or not my Note 2. I use my uh, HTC One. <laughs> Ever since I put that 64 gig card in my Note 2. And I have that 9,300 milliamp hour extended battery on it. I, I, I don't know man. So close to going to my Note 2. To be upfront and very honest with you. I wish I could convince my wife to use my, Note, my uh, HTC One. Because, you know, we got those 3,000 milliamp hour uh, batteries, which they're charging right now in the charger. And I also have this 7,500 milliamp hour um, extended battery that I did a video on. Uh, 
she, <laughs> I, I would rock this battery and my 64 gig card with the 802.11 AC, which the Note 2 doesn't have, and I would rock the crap out of this phone. And yeah, I, I, I gotta hand it to the people that you know complain about the HTC One. I, I have 32 gigs. I don't even have half that space used, but it is super super awesome being able to slap a 64 gig card in there and have a crap ton of storage. And with this update, it frees up like I can't even remember what the article said, but it frees up space in your on your S4, so you can have more internal space for apps. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, this is just strictly a how-to video because somebody on Twitter actually informed me of this. I'll uh, I'll try to remember to put a link to their tweet in the description, but um, they informed me on Twitter about this F MF9 update, and I had no clue. And so I checked into it. I made an Android backup of my wife's CM 10.1. I backed up all her apps with the GM backup, which are all on this 32 gig card. And whenever this is done, and I'm done with this video, I'm actually gonna put uh, Sinusoid 10.1 back on there. I'm gonna restore the Android. If I cannot root with CF Auto Root or any other way, I'll just use Odin, and I'll Odin the MDL tar back on here, and then I'll root it with CF Auto Root, install the latest 2600 Torp Recovery that came out today, and I will restore her Android back up. And to update your uh, radio, your baseband, to MF9, uh, Unknown Force made a way to do it via Odin. Uh, you don't have to take the OTA update. Uh, you can update just your radio and nothing else to M MF9. So if you're running like Sinajamon 10.1 and you want to keep that, you could update just your radio to uh, MF9 and keep using the same 10.1. So that's what I'm going to end up doing. I'll put a link to uh, Unknown Force's thread in the description below. For those of you that want to stay on CM 10.1 without going 100% stock. Because there is talk about like an insecure like uh, bootloader lock and etc. Bootloader is not locked. But um, if you try to flash a custom boot image or something, it will throw up a bootloader. Anyways, that's, that's what um, Noob NL said in the thread. I, uh, I'll link to that thread in the description if I remember to do that as well. But this is taking a minute. I get a lot of complaints. People are like, um, hey, how long did that take? Mine's stuck at this screen. Mine's not doing anything. And they get mad at me for editing so much. Well, here you go. This is for you. Come on. This is taking a minute. We're almost at eight minutes. Is that even moving? Let's see. I'll put that right there. The packaging or patching system files, but no, I took the the three thousand milliamp hour zero lumen battery that I did a video on. I took that battery out of here because it was like twenty percent charge, and it probably wouldn't have let it do the update and stuff. So I put the stock official battery in here. Come on, dude, we got a minute and a half left before this camera shuts off. This is taking a while. I was going to show you after this video like what it looks like. Uh oh. I, yeah, I was going to include at the end like, you know, here's a quick look. Like, I wasn't going to make a whole separate video on um, the update. But it looks like now I'm going to have to do that. Sweet. All right, I got 30 seconds left. <laughs> if this video uh, informed you of the MF9 update or in any way helped you install it or anything, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. That's all I ask. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button right next to it. it. It'll notify you the next time I post a new video. I'm on Twitch, I'm on Vine, Instagram, Twitter, everything. Just look for WWJoshDew and check out the description of this video. I'm out. Hey, look for part two. It'll be in the description below.